hey guys welcome back to Kali J's kitchen today I'll take you back in the kitchen with me and I'll show you how I prepared my sweet and spicy wings don't forget to subscribe to my channel like share and comment and tell a friend to tell another friend about Kali J's kitchen you can also follow me on Facebook it's Kali J's kitchen follow me on Instagram it's Kali kitchen underscore one and go ahead and turn on that post notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload upload a new video so this is my chicken wing it's already clean and washed so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go in and season my chicken wing so I'm using powdered seasoning and I will also go ahead and add some of my paprika a small amount of black pepper to this all right and guys I found this nice sweet and spicy sauce in the supermarket so I decided to give it a try and listen it tastes so good the only thing though I think I pick up the mild um, sweet and spicy sauce so if you guys want a little bit more spiciness then you can always go ahead and pick up the regular one or if you want to pick up the mild one but then you just want to add a piece of scotch bunny pepper to give it that spiciness that you're looking for you can always do that all right so I'm going to go ahead and add some of the sweet and spicy sauce, as I said earlier, over my chicken wings. And of course, I'm going to combine everything together, leave it in the fridge for roughly about an hour and a half. Then I'm going to come back and prepare the rest of the ingredients for my chicken wings. All right. And as I said earlier, guys, I found this sweet and spicy sauce in the supermarket. I decided to give it a try. I took up the one that was mild all right but if you guys want a little bit more spice you can always go ahead and add some scotch bunny pepper to this and it will give you a nice zing because the mild one is a little bit more sweet than spicy all right so I'm gonna start preparing my dry ingredients and of course I have some counter flour added some paprika some all-purpose seasoning some black pepper combine everything together because you want all of that seasoning to be evenly distributed then I'm gonna go in and just coat my chicken wings and while I'm doing this I preheated my sorry I have my frying pan on the stove with my vegetable oil I'm gonna allow it to just preheat until and finish coating my chicken wings in the flour and you always want to ensure that you dust off any excess flour from your chicken or your chicken wing all right and again guys I turn my eat down on medium not too high because you don't want to burn up your chicken wings all right and guys just remember that chicken wing doesn't take long to cook so you have to monitor it all right So now that my chicken wings are all nicely coated in the flour, I'm going to go ahead and just add them to my the hot oil one by one, all right? And guys, you always want to be careful because the oil is a little bit hot, so you have to be careful. So I'm going to allow them to just cook on one side then i'm going to come back and just spin them over on the other side so basically i'm going to allow them to cook on one side for about four to five minutes then i'm going to come back and flip it over on the other side because remember that we're going to place them in the oven as well all right so we're going to place them in the oven for roughly about seven minutes so we're going to allow them to cook now then we'll come back and flip them over on the other side So now it's time to go ahead and flip them over on the other side as you can see they are coming along quite fine golden brown 
I love this. I love it, guys. I love them. Wow. Look at the color. I love the color of my chicken wings. So now that my chicken wings, they're all finished frying, I'm going to go ahead and just remove them. Of course, I'm going to place them on a napkin just to drain the excess oil. And for the bigger pieces of the chicken wings, I might just give it another two minutes to fry. All right. So guys, now is the real deal. Now is the time. So I'm going to go ahead and just place my chicken wings in this bowl. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and just pour some of the sweet and spicy sauce all over it. And this is the sweet and spicy sauce that I'm talking about. So I'm going to pour it over it, combine everything together. Again, guys, you might want to add a piece of scotch bonnet pepper just to give it that nice spicy taste. And once all of my chicken wings, they're coated nicely. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and just place it on a baking plate or Pyrex dish, whatever you call it, and give it another about about a seven minutes or five minutes in the oven at 150 degrees. Then I'm going to come back and show you guys the final product, all right? Alright guys, so this is the final product of my sweet and spicy chicken wings. I'm going to serve this up and show you guys the final product in a minute. So guys, this is the final product of my sweet and spicy chicken wings. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. I hope you guys try this recipe at home. Remember to turn on your post notification bell. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Remember to share. Remember to tell your friends. Tell your family members about Kali J's Kitchen. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you tomorrow for another awesome.